It's Christmas project time. Today I will show you a sample lesson on how to make the petals or bracts for this winter rose poinsettia. Coming up. Beautiful people, my name is Fen Lee, author, instructor, and designer here at the Beat Floor Studio. And on this channel, I will show you the old world art of French beaded flowers reimagined with contemporary designs and techniques. If you're new here, check out the playlist. I know how overwhelming it can be to get started with a new craft. I've got you. I have affordable beginner kits so you can see if this craft is for you. Today I'll be showing you a variety of poinsettia that I found at the Home Depot last year called the Winter Rose Poinsettia. I snapped a few photos and then went home and made this. I'm finally, finally releasing the pattern. That's an eight page PDF and a four part video series. I will show you a sample video lesson today for making the brats using the technique I developed called the Continuous Split Basic. This is an advanced pattern, so let's get to the lesson. First, I'm going to show you how to make brats A, and the pattern calls for a 12 inch top basic wire. So let's measure that out. And um, we'll need a one bead basic, and then we'll to put two beads in the basic loop. We'll leave this to be about four inches here. The twisted wire to the loop to be about four inches. All right, so now let's take the top basic wire and just coil this up just to get it out of the way. Now first, let's make the first three rows with pointed top and pointed bottom. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add two bead additions until we have nine rows total. So let's undo the top basic wire. And I just want to um, add all the beads on at once. You can do them um, as you make them, but I'm just going to add them all at once, which is six beads. I'm just going to put two beads down. And then I'm going to coil up the rest of the beads. Before I go any further, I want to start lacing this first. So I have a length of um, 32 gauge red wire here. You can also use um, a 30 gauge, but I have 32, so that's what I'll be using. And this will just make the whole process a lot faster later because then you don't have to lace afterwards. I recommend that you lace your, lace your work. Okay. Now we are ready to make the next row. And even before I um, make the row, I'm going to lace um, the row in first. So push the, all the beads down and then lace it. Now you know everything is in place even before you make the wrap for the row. You can always shape it as you're making the rows. And then I'm going to lace this here before I finish the row. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna uncoil the top wire here and move it two more beads down. and finish making the row. And you know the drill, lace. Just gonna wrap this lacing wire around twice because we're at the end of the row. Should do that with um, this one too. Now turn this around and bend the top basic wire along the back and bring it back around the base to the right hand side. And make another twisted wire right next to the first one. And you just want it to be about the same length. So what I like to do is I like to bend my twisted wire up to the first unit so that I can see um, the length. You can also measure it. Okay, so this should be here. All right, so now I'm going to put more beads on to the basic wire. I'm just gonna put a bunch in there. And put one bead down and coil up the rest. And again, we're going to start lacing this here. Now let's take the um, basic wire and bend it along the back of the unit. Bring it around the base and back to the right hand side. And now we're going to make another unit right next to this one. So we'll have three units on the top wire here. Now we have the third unit done. So take the top basic wire, bend it along the back of the unit and wrap it around the base. So now this wire is one of the ending tail wires. You can wrap it around twice, just to make sure it's nice and secure. So now undo any twists in the twisted wire here and make sure there's one bead on each side. And then cut at the end here to create two more wires. Now this is an important step. Uh, make sure you follow this. Take the working wire and we need to reposition this working wire right next to this wire right here. So take the wire and wrap it around 
um, between the first two units and then wrap it around between the next two units. So now that the working wire is right here and we're going to keep going and make our twisted wires. Now twist the last two wires together to finish the last unit here. You want all of the units to be uniform and you don't like the wires along the back here just pull it out and cut along the top and fold the top wire bit down and then take your pliers and wrap the bottom wire around the base of the unit here and pull tightly just wrap around twice or so and then cut the excess wire and then tuck the wire a bit in. So here I have the two brat B units and I'm going to show you how to combine them together. Have the right sides facing each other and then just twist the two wires together and then twist these two wires together and then open them up. If you like the full pattern, you can download the eight page PDF or video lessons. If you've enjoyed the free content on this channel, consider buying the pattern so that I can continue to produce quality content for you. Also sign up for my newsletter to be the first to have access to my patterns. Those on my newsletter were able to get this pattern at a very sweet deal before I made it public. The links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.